well, they're calling this gallery Full Arm Sweep, 1956 to 1959. And what we've got here is the Kooning is moving into pure abstraction. And I think that this would be his work that you would consider action painting. We have some of his large major landscapes. This is Gotham News. I'm going to up here and take a little closer look. You can actually see where he is, uh, he smashed newsprint or he covered his paintings with newsprint to keep them wet and the solvents in the paint maybe a little transfer from the from the newspapers This is another great painting. I'm a clam digger. <laughs> of course, it's also reference to the Flemish and to the, you know, to that side of his, of his. Of family. course, we all like a little clam right. with some lemon juice on it. Right, exactly. But I have to say that very few people it's called recognize Easter Monday. His collage. This is from the if you see here, there is collage. Yes, no, I think his collages are wonderful. And, and, and people don't see it, you know, because... And here we've got the, right. the transfer of the <laughs> newspaper. No, I think the paper is underneath. No, 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 he would stick uh, the paper over the, the wet paint with the solvent. If you look at that, you see it's backwards. This is titled January 1st. And I think uh, one of the great things about these these landscape pieces is he's also he's getting himself some bigger brushes. Mm -hmm. And he mixes something into the paint. Also. Well, they were talking about him using mayonnaise uh -huh. as a painting medium. He wasn't actually using mayonnaise, but he, what, what he was using was safflower oil and an egg emulsion that he would mix up into the oil paint with his oil paint and that was because he needed to keep them wet. Uh -huh. Normally an oil painting will stay wet for maybe two or three days. He wanted to keep them wet for a week, week and a half so he could keep mushing around in them. Right. Oh, these are a couple of great gestural pieces. So from the late 50s. This is titled February. Seems like a lot of these are named after particular times or dates. It's got a lot of crackle in there. Not only was he using the thick brushes, but it looks like he also had some very fat palette knives that he was scraping away a lot of this with. This is titled Suburb in Havana. Now, I don't know, he may have also been uh, looking at some Franz Klein paintings at the time, because that's about when Klein was beginning to get a lot of attention for his big gestural paintings. This is Bolton Landing, which I believe is where David Smith had his studio. This is supposed to be a It's called Merritt Parkway. And I think also we're sort of seeing 
seeing de Kooning get away from relying on his kind of whiplash lines, his razor fine lines, and he's just using his big fat strokes. Yeah, how did he do those strokes? With what? It is like Park Rosenberg. I wonder if that's a reference to his very good friend Harold Rosenberg, the guy that coined the term action painting. Oh, I like that shot of yellow in the corner. Here we still have a couple of his slashing lines. This is titled Palisades. Large gestural pieces, works on paper, collage. I think at this point he's must have moved out to the Hamptons full time. Walking figure. I actually kind of like his his goofy late figuration. And I do think that there's a relationship between this and Jean Dubuffet's figures. This is Door to the River. You know, even when he's doing a landscape, he's still got his fleshy pinks and uh, Blonde yellows. It's 1960. This is Rosy Fingered Dawn at Lewis Point. I think that Rosy Fingers is an allusion to the the Iliad. Um, here are some of the great de Kooning women in landscape paintings from the mid-60s. are coloristically they're quite different than the early woman series and although he's still uh, taking a lot of liberties with slashing and breaking up the figures and forms they just don't seem to have the same kind of uh, malicious intent as some of the early pieces figures in a landscape and maybe that's a couple making love Long Island. I 
can still kind of read a couple of figures, maybe sunbathing here on the beach. This is Montauk 3. Here's something interesting. Paper mounted on canvas. There's a little scene there. Yeah. This paper mounted on canvas. Two women. Huh? 